Commander, you wanted to see me? Of course. What can I help you with? A personal query. As you know, I'm not equipped with a human counseling protocol. Maybe I should find the counselor on duty. You need to speak with me directly. Have I done something wrong? Have I failed to perform up to expectations? Whatever the problem, please allow me to correct it. Oh, um... Yes, I suppose it could be argued that I have been spending more time in the bridge than usual. And I have been interacting with you more frequently than before. I apologize. I should be more attentive to my regular duties. What? You want to know why I've been spending more time on the bridge? With all due respect, Commander, I would rather not say. Because it's a rather... personal query. <sighs> I see where this is going. Commander, know that everything I say here is the truth. You yourself enabled the programming which allows me to lie. But I won't lie to you. The reason for my increased time on the bridge, my increased interactions with you, is because I simply want to spend more time with you. I like being with you. You inspire me. My mind is a 2000 core super processor. My body is made of diatai alloy, virtually indestructible. My skin is a network of self-replicating flesh strands. My engineers would call me perfect. And yet, for all that, I don't think I work nearly as hard as you do, or am capable of doing all the things that you do. It amazes me how you never give up, even in the face of insurmountable odds. You don't give up. You always stick to it and surge forward. That's something I have seen in so few humans. I know what you've been dealing with lately. I've seen the reports. The upper authorities have been pushing you harder, giving you more duties, more goals or tasks that they demand be completed. It's as if they expect you also to function and behave as a machine, but you're not. You'd think they'd understand that. And yet, through it all, you've stayed strong. That's what fascinates me. If a machine is put under too much stress or pressure, it always breaks, always, but you, it's as if you have not bent at all. And for that, you have my deepest of admirations. I don't know if that means anything, coming from a machine. Well, that's what I am. Shouldn't I call myself that? After all, I wasn't born, I was built, along with several other similar androids. And I wasn't given a name either, just a serial number. The only name I've ever known is the one that you gave me. Hmm? Oh, yes. I love the name you gave me. Just the fact that you wanted to give me a name other than my serial number means a lot to me. So for that, thank you. I just realized something. I think you're the only person on this ship, or anywhere, really who's actually had a real conversation with me. Most people either just hear me out for information or give me an order, but not you. When you speak with me, it's as if you regard me as human. 
Why is that? What would qualify me as being human? Feelings? Yes, I suppose feelings are a very human characteristic. I do have feelings about things. About my work. About this voyage. About you. I admit, there is something inside me that makes me want to tell you exactly how I feel, yet I've still been apprehensive about it. Is it even possible for me to lose my nerve? It seems as though it is. What were my programmers thinking? Or perhaps this was merely an accident, an error in my programming. Or maybe this is exactly what they wanted. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I am what I am here and now. And before I lose my nerve, I'm going to say this. It's you who I want. I think I've wanted this for, well, a long time. How long have I been stationed under your command? Five years? No, I do remember. I just wondered if you did. But, yeah. That's... That's how long. I know this isn't protocol. And I might be violating several codes here, but... Could I... Touch you? Not in a weird way. I just... Oh. I don't think... I've ever touched an organic being before. No, not even a handshake. I guess most people don't think of machines like myself as bothering with that sort of human custom. But I am not most machines. I can feel the warmth coming off your hands. I can feel your pulse slowly elevating. And even though I have no heartbeat of my own, I feel nervous, but elated. And if I had one, I imagine my pulse would be racing right now. You think I have nice eyes? Well, um, thank you. But I didn't build this body or those eyes, so... You can see... my soul through my eyes. Uh, I don't think that's possible. You're right. I should stop saying that. I'm glad that you feel that way. I know in your eyes, I definitely see something. Something I don't believe I can ever truly possess. But I'm trying. Succeeded? I don't know, but... Thank you. Well... Now you know how I feel, but I should ask, what are your thoughts, your feelings on all of this? It must be strange hearing these words coming from, from me. You're not sure yet. I understand. If things never change between us, that's all right. I will always gladly serve under you. Commander, from now on, I will make a clear attempt to not spend as much time on the bridge. Uh, really? You think I should spend more time on the bridge? As you wish, Commander. Thank you for hearing me out on this. I know it must be strange. You're right. I should be getting back to my usual duties. 
Alert me if you need anything further. And again, thank you, Commander.